Um, fee started in 2013. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. We um, started um, with taking care of the animals at the shelter, the homeless animals. We paid uh, their medical and um, tried to help out with any needs that they had. Um, throughout the years, we have been able to expand to include community. Um, the community, if someone has a cat or dog that they need medical help for, and it keeps them in the home and not in the shelter, then we will help with the community also. This is Spice, and Spice um, was hit by a car, and, um, well, that's what we speculate happened. She was hit by a car, and um, she was found in the middle of the road with her broken leg. The people that found her couldn't keep her. They, they lived on a farm and didn't think a three-legged cat on the farm would probably be okay. So we took her in and got her leg amputated, and she's doing just fine now. Um, this is Angel, and Angel was also hit by a car, and she had a broken jaw, a broken tailbone, or pelvis, I believe, broken pelvis, and a chipped um, heel, which you see is perfectly healed by now. <laughs> what are some of the activities that you do? Do you have any, you have the... We do microchipping. Um, we do that twice a year. In any community, people can bring in their animals. Um, I don't think we've done anything but cats and dogs. I, don't, I suppose we'd entertain a different kind of animal, uh, but we haven't ever had. But we, we, we've been very successful at helping people get their animals chipped, and so in case they're lost, you know, they have a way to locate them. And People call well in advance wanting to know when our next one is. So. How big of an area do you cover? We um, generally s try to stay in the counties around um, Emporia. We have helped a lady in Manhattan. We helped a guy in Topeka. But other than that, um, we try to stay within our local community. Do you receive funding from any other source other than donations? No. We get no federal, state, or city funding. It's all from our very gracious donors. And our donors through Match Day is our big boost. It's our biggest, biggest yeah. fundraiser. But we have people just send in checks every now and then. You know, they're just, we've got, Emporia has a lot of great donors, a lot of love for the animals. You have been with Match Day for a number of years. What does Match Day mean to your organization? Oh, it means everything. I mean, we, um, we've been there since day one. It, like Kelly said, it is our biggest fundraiser, and that's where our donors basically know us from. So It helps a lot of animals. Yes, I mean, a many lot animals. Of animals. Okay. We, we wouldn't be able to help as many as we do without, without Match Day. Is there something people don't know about your organization, but they should know about your organization? We're all volunteer run. Uh, we have no paid employees. Every dime that people give goes directly to animals in some way, shape, or form. Um, what satisfaction do you two get out of working with these animals? That's our life. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's what I mean, we do. Happy animals. Yeah. You know, they, these two probably wouldn't be alive if if we didn't help them. So, um, just when you see a happy dog or a happy cat after you've helped them, you see them in their their worst um, their worst um, environment, and then and then you help them, and they that happiness comes out, and it just makes your makes heart you full. Smile. What's the biggest need with your organization? Um, donations, monetary donations, helps us with the um, medical issues that we take care of, spay and neuter, um, anything medical we will consider 
and I don't believe we've turned down anybody yet. So, these would like to thank the all our donors that donate throughout the year, plus the Community Foundation's Match Day. Um, we so appreciate that, and we appreciate the Community Foundation putting on Match Day as. That's our biggest fundraiser of the year, so thank everyone for donating. And the sponsors that sponsor Match mm -hmm. Day. 